Well, essentially a dental implant is an artificial tooth root which is placed in either the upper or lower jawbone to replace from one missing teeth and even to replace several missing teeth without the need to wear a denture or a removable set of false teeth. Well, if anyone has lost a single tooth or even if they've lost more than one tooth in their mouths, we can often replace these uh, with uh, fixed teeth on dental implants. And even if someone has lost all of their teeth, we can use dental implants to help stabilize their dentures so that they don't have any embarrassment and any cosmetic problems with teeth moving around in their mouths. Dental implants currently enjoy a success rate of about 97%, but there are some very important factors which determine and can vary that success rate. The first uh, aspect is that a tried and tested surgical protocol must be used. Uh, also, the clinical expertise and experience of the operator who's actually placing the implant is important. Then, of course, there's uh, the correct choice of the implant system, a system which has a long history of successful use. And lastly, but very important, is that we do require a high level of patient compliance when it comes to maintenance and hygiene. Here we have uh, a life-size model of an implant and a more than life-size model. The reason for plating a dental implant is to replace a missing tooth. So the tooth is lost, and then an incision is made into the gum. The implant is then screwed into the gum and normally left for a period of weeks to heal up. Following the healing, we put a peg into the implant that is also tightly screwed in. Then the crown or the artificial tooth is made to fit on the implant and the patient has a, fix, a fixed permanent and aesthetic replacement. It's totally changed the way I eat. I can now eat properly like I used to when I was very young. Uh, and it's made eating a, a great pleasure. Rather than uh, selecting items to eat, I can now eat, eat anything at all.